President Obama announced changes to his proposed Recovery Act today, replacing his national high-speed rail plan with a national high-speed bus plan. The switch to the new buses, which cruise at speeds of up to 165 miles per hour, will save more than $17 billion from the country's recovery budget. In a press conference today, Project Director Alan Peterson called the plan a cost-efficient way of cutting travel times in half. Buses can be retrofitted and modernized for as little as $40. Starting January 1st, you'll be sharing the road with the next generation of buses roaring past you at race car speeds. Get out of the way. The bus of the future is here. The plan will provide for 10 high-speed bus corridors using existing roads instead of building costly new infrastructure. On most routes, what was once called the shoulder lane will now be known as the busway, giving buses easy access to exits and on-ramps. Highways without shoulders will be rechristened shared multi-vehicle routes and will support new signs to keep drivers alert to buses. Passengers will have the option of purchasing a business class ticket, which guarantees their seat will be at least five rows away from the bathroom and will not be situated directly over a wheel well. Last week, lawmakers took an inaugural trip in one of the new models, accelerating to 102 miles per hour within minutes of leaving Washington's Union Station bus terminal. The high-speed bus plan is just the latest initiative aimed at improving America's infrastructure following last week's high-speed broadband and access negotiations with Canada to remove the password from its wireless network. Moving on, Congress has passed a compromise bill allowing illegal immigrants to live in the U.S. as long as their feet never touch the ground.